This video is on how I assess the level of nerve healing I had as I recovered from my uh, severed median and ulnar nerve to refresh memory. Circular saw through here. I'm out there. A very slow healing process. It's going to be a short video. Um, and again, it just shows you the level of uh, nerve healing, how I tracked it as it progressed. This would be a probably a decent idea for a field uh, test for assessing it. Um, basically, I was struggling um, to figure out where my nerve healing was so I could start making guesstimates as far as what muscles would be innervated. And then how that would present to me, how I could use it in the gym. So again, circular saw through here. Um, I don't know where the nerves were cut exactly. I do know that the median and all the nerves were cut though, and then sewn back together. So the assumption is it's healing up in here. Had an April visit. My injury was October 27th. The surgeon noted that I had sweating and you could feel warmth here, proximal from the nerve healing. Distal, I had nothing, and I was noticing some atrophy, but it was thickening up in the palm of my hand. So I was trying to figure out what was going on, and then as it reached my fingers, um, I experienced kind of some neuroplastic changes that uh, really made me focus or redouble my efforts. But to get into how I tracked it, just a pen, use my eyes closed. Um, started down here, and again, we're you're, you're months and months to where whatever was going on in this area had kind of normalized, so it was a base to leap off of with this test. But um, to give you an idea, you would come down here, eyes closed. I would put the pen to my area that had kind of stabilized, bring it up here. I closed and when I got to an area where I felt like the sensation was diminishing and changing, eyes closed, I would just stop and put a line. And then you just kind of palm, figure out where it's at. Um, where this was interesting was um, I got to 12 months in, the nerve healing basically reached the base of my fingers. I'm trying to figure out uh, when I could expect these areas of my fingers to come back online. So I'm looking for a way to real-time track nerve healing as it goes up my fingers. Again, eyes closed, very hard to do, uncomfortable. I've been holding on to this because I'm not trying to put patience in any sort of... but. Um, so you get on your finger here, eyes closed. Well, I have a video of this in real time with uh, some muscle atrophy on my hand. But what I was able to do was kind of go up. And the pen would run off. It was very difficult. But uh, kind of do the same thing going up here. And then at some point, what I've done is I've established a level of nerve healing. What was interesting and may be of interest to anybody in this field was the fact that I, uh, let's say a week later, I would get a general agreement, and this is again with my eyes closed so I can't cheat, I would get a general agreement across all the fingers, meaning the level of nerve healing had progressed from here to here, well... A week later you rerun this test and it's here what I was able to do is metric up the level of nerve healing now this maybe I was measuring one particular type of nerve related to pressure um, it might have been a particular nerve related to pain I have no idea um, I do have video of this in real time um, what was absolutely certain was I was able to track nerve healing all the way up my fingers to the tip. Um, this test went on for months. And then when I got to the tip, 
it almost seemed like um, the nerve healing kind of went back down my finger. Um, again, this is an idea for a test. Simple pen, patience, eyes closed. Um, there might be some tricks to it. I mean, as far as if you don't have intrinsic nerve healing, it's very hard to freeze your finger in place. I suppose you could um, uh, immobilize it using like some thermoplastic form to the patient's hand so that the fingers were in like a little hand-shaped cup. Or you could use a little bit of foam. Um, I just use this service here, which is just a glass stove top. Um, that's the test. I, again, I feel like it was extremely useful for establishing a rate of nerve healing up the fingers. And then what I was doing was using the different joints as my markers for when I should um, get a rigid kind of intrinsic innervated muscle structure that I could actually use uh, in the service of uh, rehabilitation. Thanks again. Thank you.